As I promised in my last post, I was going to do a quick tutorial of setting up Firefox Relay. There'll be a link in the comments below, or you can go to relay.firefox.com. Once you're here, just click Sign In and enter in the email address that you want to use to uh, relay to. So I'm going to enter a one in that I have, uh, subcontractor <laughs> uh, 4848.gmail.com, if I could spell today, my goodness. Uh, once it comes over, it's going to ask you to put in a password. Uh, ask you your age to make sure you're allowed to do this. And boom, you're able to uh, sign up for other um, uh, quick tutorials and guides that Firefox has, and you don't have to. Over to create account, it's going to send a six digit code to the email address that you listed. And I'm just going to grab this off my phone, enter it in and you've got an account it's done you can quickly generate a new alias just by clicking the button on screen and there's a nice copy link and it'll show the details of where it's forwarding to then when you are needing to uh to sign up uh, i'm just going to uh, sign in with simon's uh, i like shopping there so why not use them for this and uh, put in the relay address that I've copied, I'll paste. Uh, this is another password field that uh, the merchant is asking for. And I'm gonna become a member, sign up. Once this is done, I'm going to get an email from Simons and I see it in my Gmail account. And I also see that uh, Gmail is stating that this email is a, a forward from Firefox Relay, which is really cool. So I can hit subscribe there on that email and I'll be subscribed. When I go back to my Firefox Relay dashboard and I refresh the page, I'll see that two emails were forwarded. Now there is a note that says attachment and emails larger than 150 kilobytes are not currently supported, will not be forwarded. Uh, that I don't think is a big issue because a lot of uh, email lists are going to send the fastest um, and the quickest loading emails possible so that you do read them. I don't think that'll be an issue. And now, if you're going to unsubscribe from some lists and you don't want to deal with the potential of having to wait many days, you can quickly delete that alias. It gives you the nice warning that this will be deleted and never be recovered. You can delete and done, generate a new one. It says up to five remaining aliases. I think that's more than enough. I think this is a great service you should try out if you don't like to have to wait to unsubscribe. Thanks for watching.